Get this whole say with Oakland Latinos United, aka Oakland Latinos Unidos, on here with a new video for you guys to enjoy. Well, this spill, what it's gonna be about, it's gonna be about <coughs> Chicano Raza Latino, I guess you could say indigenous unity within our people. And why is it so hard to come by? Or why hasn't it happened? Or why is it so hard for it to happen? And the reason for this video is to explain a little bit about that. And some of the things I've noticed on YouTube. Some of the things I've noticed on the streets. Some of the things I've noticed within our own people. Even within us. You know what I mean? And um, I'm going to talk different points. And different things. And uh, this video might offend some people. It might not offend others. But I got to say what I got to say. Because it seems like every attempt. To bring some kind of rasa unity, there's always some kind of sabotage to it. Or some kind of, you know, trolling or, or people talking mess about it. Or people not liking it. Or people threatening other people over it. And I want to break down that. So, you know, us as a Chicano, as a rasa, as a Latino, you know, even how American Cholo says, a Calimac, as he likes to say it, people. We're a broken people. You know what I mean? And um, we come from, a, from a, a group of people who have been oppressed for 500 years. The minute that the Spaniards landed on here and colonized our ancestors, our, our indigenous ancestors, you know, that's where the madness started for various reasons. Because the Spaniards, even though, yes, many of us are part Spaniard and we got that European blood in us. The Spaniards are the ones that introduce the concept of white supremacy, the concept of, of um, caste systems, you know what I mean, mulattoes, mestizos, indigenous, this, that, criollos, white people, white power, you know, all that stuff was created by those Europeans who came here. But and we're going to talk about mainly about the Spaniards because they are the ones that invaded and colonized the lands that we call Mexico, Central America, South America. And the Caribbean, Puerto Rico, Cuba, Dominican Republic, and so forth. So when I say raza, Latinos, I'm talking about all of us. It doesn't matter if you're indigenous. It doesn't matter if you're mestizo. It doesn't matter if you're mulatto. It doesn't even matter if you're black. Because there is black raza, too, in many Spanish-speaking countries. It doesn't matter if you're, you're from Mexico, from Central America, and South America, or even the Caribbean islands. I'm talking about all of us as a whole. But in particular, my people here in California, which are mainly Central American and Mexican, and some South American, and some Puerto Ricans as well, you know what I mean? We've been going at it for years over different things, whether it be over gangs, over turfs, over barrios, over drugs, you know what I mean? Over the North and the South, over, you know, your neighbor not liking you, over... You know what I mean? Whatever. Pick your, your battle. We've been a broken people. And once again, that comes from colonization. It comes from the introduction of religion. It comes from the introduction of alcohol into our society. It comes from the introduction of, of you know, of just uh, brutalization and slavery and, and everything else, you know what I mean, that has happened in the past. You know, believe in what we believe in by the sword. You know, and even within our indigenous people, we were not fully perfect. We had our beefs between different tribes. It's no no um, secret that the Aztecs were disliked by many tribes. You know, the Mexica, the Nahuatl, Aztecs, whatever you want to call them, were disliked by other tribes. It surrounded Mexico City at the time, before the Spaniards came. And that was one of the ways the Spaniards were able to use other indigenous tribes to conquer the Aztec Empire. And, and this, this happened with a lot of tribes all over the Americas. And, you know, years of, 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 of oppression, you know, years of, of even when the U.S. came into California, New Mexico, Arizona, Texas, and invaded Mexico. And it's basically kept Mexico and Latin America, third world poverty-stricken governments because foreign policy from the U.S. is what has kept Mexico and many Central American countries and even South American countries the way they are. 
you know, poverty, um, military interventions, wars, drugs, drug cartels. It's a reason why our people are forced to move to the United States. And then when we come to the United States, we're looked upon as wetbacks. We're looked upon as as beaners. We shouldn't be here. Go back to your country. Even though we are the next door neighbors of the United States. We're not these foreign people that come from God knows where across the ocean. We're from right here and we get treated like we're from space sometimes. Hell, probably people from space get it better than us, you know? So within this, we have created this colonized mentality, this self-hatred within us. And it's, it's, it's shown its way in different ways, whether it's gangbanging, whether it's drugs, whether it's divisions, whether it's hatred, whether it's tribalism. It goes in many ways, whether it's colorism, racism, you know, because there is colorism within our community. You know, if you're indigenous, it is Indio. If you're black, it is Negro. If you're white, you're perfect, it is Perfecto. You know what I mean? And that's the way it goes, unfortunately. And there's a lot of self-hatred within our community. It doesn't mean that we're victims, but in a way we are victims of a system that has kept us down for many years, which is the reason why we revert to the things we do. You know, lack of education, broken families, you know what I mean, broken neighborhoods, etc. Now, there's been a lot of talk on YouTube with a lot of YouTubers about Rasa Chicano Unity. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm going to talk about some particular YouTubers on this one. You know, last year we had the Gunner and Cholo Trucker fight. Which I thought was a good thing. You know what I mean? And people like Ch American Cholo have criticized that fight. And said it was a waste of time. It was a debauchery. It was a debacle. And he said all kinds of things. And again, American Cholo, I don't know if he realizes that fight was actually put together by some dude from Southern California for the most part. You know, uh, 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 Paul from LA Times, Sonny Boy Local, even though I know American Cholo and Sonny Boy Local had a falling out. And I made a video about that. You guys can go back in the archives and look for it. You know, you know, again sabotage, people talking shit about it, I don't agree with it, they're dropouts, they're this, they're that, again, colonialism, self-hatred, there you go. Now, I know there was a whole debacle over the fight, you know, trolling and, and people saying this and that, and, and it's not, a, I'm not blaming that on American Cholo, that's on other people, but American Cholo did say some rough things about it. And it was a it was a fight for unity for the most part. If people did make some money off of it, you know, I don't see the big deal in that. It is what it is. But <clears throat> that's just my take. Now, American Cholo is claiming that he's gonna do, or he says, like, I believe he's gonna do, he's gonna do a a um a unity event in May in North Hollywood. I think May twenty seventh, I believe, at a victory outreach out there. And he said it's a unity event for the Rasa. I'm not sure if it's a unity event for fools, for dudes from L.A. or Southern California. Um, he claims that he wants people from up north to come. But the way he presented it, like on Rhodium Radio's podcast, was not very nice. It was very like, oh, if you guys want to come here, you North Daniels better. You could come if you want. Rah, rah, rah. You know what I mean? It's like, that's not the way to do things, man. And I've said it before, I like American Cholo stuff. And um, I believe, you know, I like his stuff. I like his channel. Certain things he talks about are pretty dope. I'm subscribed to his channel. You know, and I have no problem with the dude. But I think sometimes if you're going to talk about unity, you're going to talk about this and that and blah, blah, blah. And I get you're doing a lot of things in your community. You got to humble yourself to the world outside of you. And you got to look beyond Norte Sud or, or the gang or my neighbor. I could walk in my neighborhood. Big deal. I could walk in my neighborhood. Who cares? That, that doesn't mean anything. If you're not gang related anymore, none of that matters, bro. 
If you're all about La Raza, you're going to be all about La Raza. See, the problem with a lot of people out there, and I've met these kind of individuals, there's a lot of individuals out there, and I'm not going to say no names, and they're not YouTube channels. These are individuals that I know personally. <laughs> like they talk a good one. I'm all about La Raza, Chicano Power, and you see them on their YouTube page, on their Facebook or IG, and they're throwing up gang signs, they're hanging out with hella gang bangers, you know what I mean? They're throwing up, you know, 1413 BB, whatever, pick your gang. And it's like, really? And I think that the, the hard thing about some of these gang bangers or ex gang bangers, it's hard for them to disassociate themselves with that lifestyle. You know what I mean? And it, 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 one thing that, that's never going to happen, unfortunately, is you're never going to be able to represent a gang cause or gang politics and be a Raza United to some degree. It just don't work that way. Yeah, if you were a Norteño, Sureño, Border Brother, Latin King, that's one thing. You're probably all, you know, you're always going to be part of that or have been part of that. But if you want to unite Raza, once you start talking about unity and Raza, you know what I mean? None of that matters. You know what I mean? And you can't associate yourself as a gangbanger if you're going to be a Raza Uniter. It just don't work that way. Because there's the, the your gang affiliation is always going to come into play. Now, another thing that I want to talk about is I believe on YouTube, most of the Chicanos on here, and I'm not, this is not to, to bash anybody. Most of the people running the Chicano narrative with the exception of a few of us like me, most are ex-cholos, ex-gangbangers, ex-pinteros, prison guys. And that's fine and dandy. There is a place, time and place for that. But we need more Chicanos, more Raza out there that is neutral, like me. You know what I mean? It's not gang-related. We need more educated Raza out there. We need more political Raza out there. We need more Raza that are just everyday Joes who have something to say, like me. You know what I mean? We need to bring them into the conversation as well, not just gangs and Norteños and Sureños or prison or, or the streets. It has to be, for there to be unity, it has to be a coalition of all of us. Because at the end of the day, the system, the racists, the people that don't like us, they don't give a flying fuck if we're from the pen, if we're from the streets, if we're regular guys, if we're Chicanos, if we're Mexicanos, if we're from Central America, we're all beaners to them at the end of the day. And that's another problem as well. The whole Chicano versus Paisa Mexicano thing. That kind of stuff needs to end too. And there has to be a bridge, a, a, you know, a bridge is, that gaps that. And that's never going to come with us being beholden to gang politics, beholden to street politics, beholding to ignorance and negativity. If you ever notice, man, I never give in to negativity. My channel is not about cursing out anybody. You know what I mean? Or or talking bad about other channels. And I'm not even talking bad about American Cholo. I just feel American Cholo, if he wants to be taken serious, there's certain things he has to do to change his tone. And that's it. More power to him. I hope his unity event goes good. I wasn't invited, so hence I'm not going. You feel me? But um, one thing that is true, man. I was the first Chicano on here talking about Raza Unity on YouTube before anybody existed, before an American Cholo, before a Gunner, before an LA Times, before anybody. Back in 2007, this little quiet channel that nobody knew about called Oakland Latinos United was talking about bridging the gap between North and Sud, was talking about Raza unity, was talking about Raza empowering themselves, was talking about Raza getting into politics, was talking about Raza educating themselves. Before any of these guys, you know, maybe I was angry at the time, maybe I, I did it in a different way, but I was doing it before any of you guys. And I should get the credit that I deserve for that. You feel me? I may not be a former fucking pintero or a gangbanger or whatever, you know what I mean? I'm just a vato from the streets, from East Oakland, from the Bay Area, who's given my opinion as a Chicano raza from the hood, you know what I mean? From a barrio, you feel me? 
And yeah, I was one of the first. I was probably one of the founders of this whole genre. You feel me? Period. Because there was no rasa back then doing this. But I feel that all of us, regardless if you're from LA, regardless if you're from the Bay, the Central Valley, the Midwest, wherever you may be from, we need to come together as a people and focus on one thing instead of focusing on what divides us. Unity is not going to be perfect. It never will be. I've talked about unity for years and I've been called a bitch. I've been called a faggot. I've been called a dropout. I've been called a punk. I've had people threaten that they were going to find me and, and shoot me and beat me up. I've had it all. Just for simply saying that Rasa needs to get together. And... You know, it's not going to be easy. And people are not going to accept it, but it has to start somewhere, you know. And I think things like the boxing match between American Cholo, I mean, between <laughs> between um, um, Cholo Trucker and Gunner was a good thing. I even think American Cholo's unity thing is a good thing, to be honest with you, you know. But um, we need to do more. And we need to not just do events. We need to reach out to the, to the youth out there and talk to them. You know what I mean? We need to reach out to organizations and work with them. Or we need to create our own organizations or our own groups to help people on the streets or the youth to bring that unity. And that's not going to happen if we're bickering over this and that, the Pinta, the Norte, the Sur, the Border Brothers, the Latin Kings, or this or that. that that's not going to you're a Paisa, you're a Chicano, blah, blah, blah. You're Salvadoran, you're Mexican, you're Honduran. And that's not going to help us. That's not going to bring unity. That's just going to bring ignorance. That just furthers colonization. And that's not going to get us anywhere. And that's all I really have to say on this video. Take it for what it is. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. This is Oakland Latinos United. I'm not chasing no clout, as you can see. But I got to set the record straight in many ways. And that's all I really have to say. Late.